Dear learners, I am Renu Arora. I welcome you to the program of Library and Information Science, Senior Secondary Level. In the last program, we have discussed processing of library material, classification and cataloging. We had discussed about classification and cataloging in that lesson. Classification is required for keeping documents in order and cataloging is required for accessing material by the users. Today, we will be taking up the lesson on arrangement and maintenance of library material. We need to maintain the material which we have acquired and which we have classified and cataloged. Library material has to be maintained so that users can find all the desired material easily. Also, cleaning, proper shelving and placing the material at proper places is also required. Besides this, there is the maintenance division that takes care of all these processes. So, today we will be discussing shelving, shelf arrangement and ways of maintaining of books and periodicals. As I have already said, all the maintenance work is carried out by the maintenance division. Besides this, this division also carries out stock taking and weeding of library collection. Dear learners, let us now take a look at what the objectives of this lesson are. Firstly, indicate various ways to arrange books and periodicals. Then, identify various kinds of library stacks. We also have to know the shelving order of the books. In addition to this, we will be explaining arrangement of periodicals and the activities which are required to carry out care of the documents. Then we will highlight the importance of mending and binding of library books and periodicals. Then we will illustrate to you the role of stock verification and weeding of library documents. And lastly, we have to justify the need for security of library documents. Let us now start with what exactly is maintenance work and how it is carried out. As you are all aware, every organization requires maintenance all the time so that efficient working is carried out in the organization. So, in maintenance work, we carry out shelving and reshelving of library documents. Here we have to keep books and material in order and maintain cleanliness in the shelves and stack rooms. Then supervision of the collection is required. In addition to that, Conservation and preservation of materials is to be carried out which includes repair and binding. Then stock taking and weeding processes and lastly we have to see how we can ensure security of library material. Start with now shelving and stacking. So dear learners once the documents are processed that means these are acquired, classified and catalogued these are to be put in proper places. This is referred to as shelving of material and then we also display the material. So, display is another activity carried out by the maintenance department. The arrangement on the shelves should ensure that most used books are in prominent place and not strictly as per the classification scheme. Besides this, oversized and large books are to be placed separately. The stacking of the documents should ensure that minimum space is wasted. All kinds of material which includes both book and non-book materials has to be placed properly. So, the documents should be shelved on their allotted space on the shelves and not on any other place. Besides this, there has to be proper lighting and sufficient provision for future growth of the library. Now, take a look at the wooden bookshelf. As you can see, in this shelf, we usually place library books and wooden shelves or metal shelves can also be used for placing books on shelves. Now, this is the picture of a library bookshelf with books. So, you can see that most of the books are having more or less the same size. Besides that, when the books are placed in the shelf, 
they are not put too tightly otherwise the books will get damaged. So there has to be certain space left for future growth also. Future growth here means that when new books are added to the library, these are also to be placed within the already existing books in the library. There are several shelving methods. So dear learners, the most popular shelving methods that we see in the libraries are classified order, arrangement by broken order, arrangement by special sequence, arrangement by accession number or arrangement could also be alphabetical by author or title. And then there are stacking methods. Stacking methods means that the library is full of stacks. Stacks are basically the rows of shelves on which documents have to be placed. So we have several categories of shelves or stacks which are called in the connection with library available and all the library material or library furniture dealers, they are providing the library stacks. Dear learners, the library material has to be put in the library stack room and these are all full of the stacks or shelves which are available in various variety and various sizes. And the several options that we have available in the libraries are firstly, there are fixed shelves with double rows, then there are hinged stacks, hinged stacks can be moved sideways. Then there are rolling stacks, rolling stacks can be moved from one place to another. Then there is the compact storage, compact storage usually is for documents which are not very much in use. And lastly, we have a, another variety that is multi-tier stacks. Multi-tier stacks means that it is uh, going very high up to, towards the roof. So where a lot of material can be placed. Next, we have to see the maintenance of periodicals. The work related to the periodical division can be divided into different stages. Because in the case of periodicals, the work is completely different than what it is for the books. And with regard to periodicals, the different stages are firstly receiving, recording and stamping the received issues of the periodical. Secondly, sending periodicals to the reading room for use once these are processed. This includes arranging current periodicals for display or sending them to the shelves if not displayed, then tracing the missing issues and maintaining correspondence with the publishers or vendors or whosoever the suppliers of periodicals are, then maintaining relevant records related to the periodicals. Besides this, maintaining the periodicals display room by placing only the latest issues on the display racks and sending or keeping away the previous issues in their proper place on the shelves. Shelf maintenance and shelving of bound and current periodicals is another activity of periodical division. Then collecting, collating different issues of periodicals for binding. In addition to this, carrying out of preservation activities related to periodicals. And besides this, weeding, withdrawal and disposable of periodicals and also taking care of duplicate issues which have been received is also activity of periodical maintenance. Dear learners, let's now move on to the another aspect related to periodicals. This refers to the display of periodicals. There are several methods of display of periodicals and these are determined by a number of factors which includes firstly types of periodicals acquired, secondly floor space available in the library, thirdly layout of the library and fourthly types of users coming to the library. Dear learners, we have various variety of periodical display racks. You must have seen many as you have entered the libraries which are dealing with periodicals. The most popular one is the step type display rack. Here there are, this is in the form of steps. Then there is the pigeonhole type. In the pigeonhole type, the main advantage is that 
the new issue is in the front and all the issues are kept in the pigeon hole behind the displayed periodical. Then there are inclined type periodical display racks. These can hold up to 50 periodicals or even more. Now you can take a look at this picture which shows the periodical display rack. This is showing the different latest issues of the periodicals and as you can see all the other older issues are kept in the box behind the displayed periodical. Now besides the books and the periodicals we also have plenty of non-print material in the library as you have studied in the earlier lessons. In order to use the non-print material we require variety of equipment and some of the equipment that is required in the libraries are firstly computer systems and related equipment and furniture. Secondly, we may require projectors which could be film projectors, overhead projectors or slide projectors. Thirdly, we require audio and video equipment which includes CD players, digital recorders, digital video recorders, tape recorders, headphones, speakers, etc. Then we may require cameras and related equipment. And besides that, plenty of miscellaneous equipment is required. That may include screens, cords, adapters, microphones, microphone stands, etc. Now this is the picture of the CD-ROM rack that you can see because the modern libraries they do have lot of CD-ROM collection. So it can be placed in the CD-ROM rack. Then there is a lot of microfilm material etc. So the equipment that you see here is a microfish reader. So microfish actually is a kind of uh, very minute material which can be read only by the microfish reader. Let's now try to understand why we need to do care, handling and repair of documents. Basically, we need to preserve and maintain the documents of the library. Besides that, documents are to be physically taken care of and repair, minor repair that is to be carried out all the time. Then documents have to be free from dust, dampness and insect breeding. For making them dust free, these are to be cleaned if not every day, two or three times a week with a soft cloth. Then moisture has to be avoided wherever the documents are placed. And then if everything is clean, then there won't be any insects or fumigation may have to be carried out. Then physical preparedness of documents for tough handling by users is also required. For example, the books, books may be equipped with some kind of say plastic binding or some plastic covers etc. Or periodicals can be like their side or spine could be toughened. Besides that, care has to be taken while transporting the documents from one place to another. Now in this connection, dear learners, let's know about library binding. In fact, most of the material in the libraries needs binding at some stage or another, especially the paperbacks and also periodicals also need to be bound. Now characteristics of any library binding should be firstly, binding should be as conservative as possible, alerting the text block minimally. Then the binding should be as non-damaging to the text as possible because it should not shorten its useful life. Then the bound volumes should be open easily to a 180 degree position to facilitate photocopying and the bound volume should stay open when resting face up on the flat surface so that the reader has both hands free while using the book. Binding has several processes. In fact, the most popular eight processes involved in binding work include collation, that is collecting all the pages, sewing, attaching covers, 
adding end papers to both the side that is the beginning and the end of the document, then coloring edges, head bands, hollow backs and finishing the binding process. In libraries, there are several kinds of binding depending on the type of publication that is the type of book depending on its value in the library, its use in the library and its actual cost, we have to employ the kind of binding. So we have for the library books, full leather binding, half leather binding, full cloth binding, half cloth binding, perfect binding or plastic binding or cover. Now, for example, for the reference books, we should go in for best quality binding. Dear learners, let us now move on to another aspect of the maintenance division that is stock verification. Now, just like any other organization, the library stock has to be checked or verified every year. If not every year, at least once in two or three years because this is to ensure that not too many documents are lost or misplaced. So the most popular methods of stock verification are firstly shelf list method. Shelf list cards are used to verify the availability of documents on the shelves. After exhausting the tray, the missing items are verified at all the sequences. Then there is the accession register method. The availability of a document is duly marked against the accession number given in the accession register. After the end of the whole exercise, items left unmarked are listed and a further search for them is made. Then third method is the numerical counting method. Here all the books on the shelves and out on loan are physically counted and tallied with the total number of books as per library's record. Now, there are three main techniques for stock verification. These are firstly manual. This is without help of computers and only with staff involvement. Secondly, semi-partial use of computers. And thirdly, we have automated that is completely with the help of a library management software. Dear learners, let us now move on to another aspect of maintenance in libraries that is called weeding. Weeding basically is the process of withdrawing documents from the shelves for discarding them permanently or transferring them to storage. Weeding is an essential activity but unfortunately not much carried out in Indian libraries. Weeding helps to allow space for new materials and also ensures easy access to the available collection. Some of the criteria for weeding are physical condition of the documents, to avoid unnecessary duplication and older or outdated editions may be weeded out. If there is poor content or there are lot of documents which have for years been unused or which are unsuitable for a particular library, these documents can be weeded out from the library. In the present times, if the library is automated, the computer system can aid the weeding process. Then we come to the next aspect that is security and safety of library material. Basically, like all other organizations, we have to ensure security and safety of library material. Some of the issues of theft and mutilation of books, these lead to loss of documents. And many times with regard to periodicals, loose issues of the periodicals also is a widespread problem and it can be damaging to the library collection. So, the best way to provide security to the library material is to have low priced photocopying services for the users in the library's reading room. The most widespread response to theft and mutilation of library materials across the world has been the installation of electronic security systems. Besides the electronic security systems, we can also put some kind of bars etc in the library 
and dear learners now we have come to the end of the lesson and let's see what you have learnt in this particular lesson we have learned that maintenance of the library collection is an important activity of every library stacks maintenance includes shelving and reshelving of the library materials shelving refers to placing those materials in a proper place after these have been received after processing from the technical division reshelving involves placing the return material to the library after their use by the library users the methods of shelf arrangement includes stacking by classified order broken order accession number or by special sequence shelves are either made of wood or steel depending on the available space in the library the authorities of a library may decide to use single faced or double faced units there are several kinds of stacks available in the market then maintenance of periodicals requires special cares periodicals are usually dependent and these are displayed on step type or inclined or pigeon hole type of display racks we also learned that library binding increases the durability of books and makes the material easy to use besides this binding of the periodicals ensures that all the issues of a volume are found in one place and together then stock verification is another aspect of maintenance which helps in restoration of misplaced or missing items and for finding out torn or worn out items for repair or binding we also learned that weeding in a library is a periodical or continual evaluation of resources intended to remove from the collection items which are no longer useful and we have also seen lastly that best solution to the issue of theft and mutilation of library material across the world has been the installation of electronic security systems and barcoding the library collection is another solution to the loss of documents so learners we have come to the end of this lesson thank you learners